It's Jordan Byers, and I am back with the one and only brutally honest review of the brand new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna products. <sighs> yes, the one and only. The one and only brutally honest reviews, okay? My brutally honest reviews. Am I throwing shade at Manny MUA? Yeah, pretty much. Like, if we look back at the receipts, I'm the first person to do brutally honest reviews. Like, that's my review series. I started it long, 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 long time ago. Nobody had been saying that. Nobody had used that as their title, and I used it, and I claimed it as mine. And now all these people are trying to steal my series! And it makes me sad because I'm, I'm a little YouTuber. And people come in, these big famous YouTubers like Manny, come in and like claim it as theirs. And I'm just over here like, no, no, you can't do that. That's mine. I'm just a little guy over here. Not fair. Let's move on from the saltiness and actually get into this review. So I know I sound a little bit nasally, a little congested. I've been sick for the past week and that's why I haven't put up this video sooner but your girl had a double ear infection and it's been it's been a rough past week and I'm moving to California next week which I've been extremely depressed about so um man it's been a rough couple of weeks like I will start crying now if I talk about moving for too long okay let's let's move on to the makeup right so the very first thing we are going to try on is the pro filter instant retouch primer this is 32 dollars it looks like this it's very very pretty the packaging i love i think it's simple and slim yet still like chic and bougie if you know what i mean so i have extremely dry skin like i have really really dry skin i have eczema around my lips like on the skin here that's why it's usually always red I have really bad eczema so um I have very very dry skin to the point where I have like I need ointment for my skin so we're gonna do half face with this pro filter primer and then the other half with my favorite Guerlain Laor primer. You guys know that I've been using this and it is amazing. So I'm going to do half and half just to see, like, is the primer really worth buying? Like, do you need the primer to make the foundation look good? Sometimes it's really good to use the, the foundation's primer that it comes with because they're formulated to go together. But in this case, I just want to see which one is better. Fenty Beauty side definitely is a little bit more blurring, but I've noticed that the Guerlain side, like the Guerlain primer doesn't do any blurring or like pore filling until you put the foundation on. Like when you just put the primer on as is, it just looks like your normal skin. So we're gonna put on this foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have the shade 170. So this is 170. It's supposed to be the cool tone foundation. Um, it's in the light section and actually you guys, you guys know how bad I am at finding my shade online. It's actually, it, it's embarrassing how bad I am at finding my shade online. I'm awful at shade matching online because it's just impossible. But I felt like the way the website is set up, they have a picture of a model with a similar type skin tone. So... I don't know, I feel like it was kind of easy to find the right shade, but I don't even know if this is the right shade yet, so let's just go ahead and see. I mean, it seems to be the right shade. Ooh, I'm impressed. Your girl finally got a similar color to my skin tone for once. I didn't even set it yet, and it looks so good. Girl, what? What is going on here? I am very impressed with this foundation. Like, both sides look really good. I can't tell a difference between the two sides. So now I'm going to go in with one of the matchsticks. This is the concealer type one, so this is in the shade Porcelain. 
and these are $25. I got mine in a set of three, and on the Fenty Beauty website, they let you customize your trio, but I'm just gonna kinda like brighten up the under eyes, I guess, and do that. Ooh. So actually, let's see how much is in here. Ooh, you gotta rem- oh, okay, not bad. You gotta remember that this is a very thick, chubby stick. So this amount of concealer is really not bad. It did look kind of short in perspective, but it's a very thick stick when you like feel it and feel it in person. So just keep that in mind. It is very thick as well. So also keep that in mind. So I don't know how I feel I guess the match stick is a little bit, I don't know, I don't know. It's definitely not the same as my Tarte concealer. This definitely does not compare with my Tarte Shape Tape at all whatsoever um, because it's kind of breaking up around, like on my nose. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that is something that I always look for in a concealer. Like, does it break up around my nose? And if it does, then it's just not right for me because I always use concealer to apply on my nose and my chin and basically the T-zone where I kind of want it to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. So it worked very well as a full coverage concealer under my eyes and on the other places, but on my nose, it's just, eh, it's not that great for my nose because it's breaking up on my nose. But for under the eyes, it's great. It just doesn't really compare to my shape tape, if that makes sense. So moving on, let's go ahead and put on this amber <coughs> matchstick for contouring. Ugh. So I have applied the amber matchstick Honestly, I don't know quite how I feel about this yet. I felt like it was a little bit patchy when applying, but so I added like a second coat over top just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. So if it is a little bit patchy, I mean, I don't know yet. Like, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet how I feel. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to wear it and see how I feel. But as for the color, it is a very nice, ashy, cool, toned, like shadow type color. So this is a really good color for contouring, especially if you like the cool toned contour shades. But I'm gonna have to wear it. I'm gonna have to get some feel out of this. So now it's finally time to set the face. I didn't get the blotting powder just because, I don't know. I, it felt like something I could pass on. So I'm just going to set my face with the Laura Mercier powder really quick and then we'll get on to some highlighting. So now on to the last match stick. This is the highlighter shade in Starstruck. Let's just see how it looks swatched. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, yes! So I'm actually gonna put this on my eyes as well and wear this as a shadow. I'm not gonna go crazy with eyeshadows today just because I really want it to be focused on the skin and the way the skin looks. So I'm just gonna wear this as eyeshadow, call that a day, and then also do a little bit of highlighting on one side just to see what this looks like as a highlighter. And then we're just gonna Kinda go like this. I'm gonna blend it. So this is a very subtle, natural type of highlight, which you guys, I'm not mad at natural highlights as long as they don't, you know, claim that they're supposed to be blinding. So these never claim to be blinding, so I'm not mad at it. It's actually very, very beautiful on top of the foundation. It doesn't seem to be lifting it at all whatsoever. So I'm not mad at this. I actually feel like I like it more as an eyeshadow than an actual highlighter. So that's just my little opinion. I love the packaging of these. I think like 
how easy to just throw this in your bag and you know travel with these so easy and I don't know I love the packaging of them as far as how I feel about like purchasing them I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure we need to come back to that I need to wear this and feel it on my skin more and then I'll let you know but we are not done with highlighting so ah uh, hold on hold on okay dang that is hard that is impossible to open okay so this is the kilowatt highlighter in the shades lightning dust and fire crystal so it looks like one is a glittery one and one is more of a sheen one so this is the glittery one and this is the sheen so we got lightning dust and fire crystal so this one is fire crystal not a whole lot of anything going on right there. And this one is... Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, I got the names wrong. Ooh. Wait, that one's really pretty. <gasps> so the first one, the dull one, is lightning dust. And the shiny, glittery one is fire crystal. So obviously you guys know which one I'm going to put on. <laughs> We're not surprised. We're going to go with fire crystal because... Frick yeah. Oh my golly, this is the perfect color. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Now that that's just that's beautiful. Can't compare, can't compare. So just to see what it looks like, I'm gonna put the other lightning dust one. This one was the boring one on the other side of my face just to see what this is look like. Now I already have a little bit of that matchstick on here, so yeah, as you can see, this is just like the natural highlight sheen. This would be something I would wear on like my natural day, like when I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup. Now, finally, let's put on this Fenty Beauty lipstick, lip gloss, what what is this? This is the Universal Lip Balm. It is $18, and this is the only lip product that Rihanna Fenty Beauty sold. So, we're just gonna plop this on our lips. Ooh, that is a fat wand. I like that. Ooh. Mm, this looks absolutely stunning. By the way, I'm wearing my Joby Beauty lashes in the style Yes Please. So if you are wondering where these show poppin' lashes were from, they're Joby Beauty. So I'm gonna wear this makeup as long as I can and do some check-ins. So let's get going with the dang day. Oh. It is 3.04, um, sitting in the Joanne's parking lot. My lip gloss has completely faded off just because I drinking water doing my thing but lip gloss usually always just kind of fades away so I'm not like mad about it but I have noticed that I feel like this this foundation is oxidizing and I realized like when I blended out that contour stick instead of blending it out it just took the product off so uh I mean it, it's blended better over here but I don't know remember this is the Guerlain primer side and this is the Fenty primer side it didn't have that issue over here it definitely blended the contour stick blended really nicely over here with the Guerlain primer but it looks like it literally just picked up all the product on this side instead of blending the contour stick in as you can see that's kind of embarrassing I didn't even know that but I'm just gonna leave it because I'm going to the grocery store and then going home so I'm not too worried about it I mean I'm not seeing anybody special today so uh, it's probably fine anyways I do notice that the foundation I, I feel like it's oxidized a little bit it's definitely not as pale as it was when I first applied it on my face like let's look in this natural lighting 
I mean, it doesn't look bad or anything, but I definitely feel like it's turned a little bit oranger than it did when I first applied it. It is almost 5 o'clock, so it has been like 7 hours since I first put on this makeup. I'm just kind of feeling super tired. Like, my head hurts. I'm like really nasally and congested. I just want to take a shower and lay in bed and take a nap and probably edit this video. But, um, sorry that I didn't get to wear this Fenty Beauty makeup as long as I wanted to. It was probably as long as most of you guys wanted to. But I feel like I did get a really pretty good first impression of this. So let's just walk through each product and I'll tell you my opinion. So as for the primer, I think the primer is amazing. The primer and the Guerlain primer like are so incredibly similar they did the exact same thing with the foundation i don't know if that's you know how the foundation applies over the skin or something but over my 80 dollars foundation and over the fenty beauty found or primer primer and primer they did the exact same thing so i guess we're saying that this fenty primer is just as high quality and as smooth and great on the skin as the Guerlain primer. Oh my god. Oh. And as for the foundation, I definitely, definitely feel like it oxidized. You can't really tell right now. I guess maybe you can tell a little bit. Like, look at my chest compared to my face. Like, it's a little bit paler. But, I mean, it's just, I don't know. The foundation did oxidize for me. Um, it feels great though. It's not heavy or thick feeling. It also didn't dry out my skin. So that's like one of the main things that I look for in a foundation is, is it going to dry out my skin? Especially matte foundations. I rarely, I never buy matte foundations because being dry skinned and all, Matte foundations usually just suck all of the moisture my skin has, like all the tiny bit of moisture my skin does have. And I did not get that with this foundation at all whatsoever. I think the foundation is the best part of the entire collection. Um, as far as the matchsticks, the concealer was okay. It kind of got patchy on my nose where the foundation did not get patchy on my nose. Um, I didn't like the concealer. It's it was a thick consistency, but I prefer Tarte Shape Tape. And as for the contour stick, again, it was just, it kind of was a little bit patchy and hard to blend. I prefer my ABH contour stick in the shade Fawn. I love that stuff. Use it every single day. Definitely a holy grail product. Love, love the ABH contour sticks. Mm, mm. As for the highlighter stick, I really liked the highlighter stick. I put it on my eyes and it kind of like got a little bit of creasing in there. But I mean, I probably should have properly set it a little bit better. So that's definitely my fault and not the highlight stick. Um, I really liked the highlight stick on its own. I feel like it would be amazing on bare skin as well as just the foundation and like keeping it real simple and all that jazz like real good I like the highlight stick and as far as the highlighters like girl can we take a moment like that is freaking blinding the highlighter is a must as well like I don't know um, about all the other highlighters but the one I did try that little duo I think is amazing for the price just because you get both you get two in one little compact. It was extremely hard to open the compact, but once you do get it open, those highlighters are to die for. So overall, I say skip everything except for the foundation and the highlighters. And if you're really looking for a new primer, I say the primer is fantastic. Primer, foundation, the highlight, amazing. As for the matchsticks I feel like you can pass on the matchsticks even the highlighter matchstick just because if you get the duo highlighter you have a more natural shine and then you have a shapopin shine one in there so I say pass on the matchsticks as a whole they just didn't do 
that much for me. It's not a holy grail product. It's not going to be like my next new everyday thing. But, you know, the highlighter, the primer, and the foundation definitely will get used a lot. So thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And subscribe down below to become part of the Joby Squad because I love you guys and I want to keep doing this for you guys. So um, pray for some health in your girl Joby. I'm going to be traveling cross country, moving all my stuff to California. So pray for safe travels in that my double ear infection gets healed quick. Your girl, your girl is struggling here. <sighs> Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!